everyone, welcome back. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the stretch command. And before I actually do that, we're also going to um, check the viewport scale of this drawing. We'll put some annotative dimensions on, and then we'll stretch it. All right, so let's get started with that. All right, so I've got this drawing here. And the first thing I'm actually going to do is I want to make sure to find out what scale the viewport will be at in my um, in my border in my layout tab. So I'm going to go to layout one because that's where my border is. Okay, so here's my um, here's my border in layout one, and inside of my border I have a viewport. All right, so I'm going to double click inside the viewport, and I'm going to check the scale over here. All right, and right now it says that the scale is at one to one. Um, but just for fun, I'm going to try um, a half scale just to see how that looks. Okay, and one to two is a little bit too small. So I think I will go back to one to one on the scale of that. All right. So now that I know the viewport scale, um, then I do know the scale that I should be putting my um, annotative dimensions in. Right. So let's go back to model, the full model tab. And before I actually throw a couple of dimensions on here, I'm going to check the scaler in the lower right corner on the status bar and make sure that it is also one to one. That would be the same scale that the viewport is. Okay, so now that those two things match, I'm going to put some dimensions on here. Okay, so I'm going to come up to my dimension toolbar and let's see, I'm going to put um, an overall dimension in. All right, there's my dimensions, and they came in at a scale of one to one, which is exactly what I wanted. All right, so the stretch command, um, it's up here on the modify panel on the ribbon. So I'm going to go to stretch, and um, the stretch command has to have a crossing selection window. So to make a crossing window, you want to start on the right hand side. Um, pick in space and of course you'll get a window. That's a regular window. This is a crossing window. And what's going to happen is everything that is inside the window will move and the lines that hang outside the window will stretch. Okay, so what's going to happen is these lines over here on the left hand side um, they're going to stretch. These lines right here will stretch where everything else will move. Okay. So I'm done selecting, so I'm going to do a right click. And the command line is asking me now for a base point. So I'm just going to pick a point down here because I'm going to want to stretch this about four inches to the right. Okay. So um, I have ortho on, which is good because that keeps me nice and straight here. So I'm going to push with my mouse in this direction and I'm going to type four and it's going to add four inches to to that drawing okay so there you can see that it added four inches now I'm at eight and a half um, inches long instead of four and a half inches long okay I also want to show you how we can stretch this opening up I want to move this whole opening keeping the integrity of this opening at 1.25 inches but I do want to move the whole opening up um, one and a half inches okay so let's again go to stretch and I want you to notice how I make this crossing window uh, notice that the vertical lines are half in and half out and those are the lines that are going to stretch and the horizontal lines will move okay so there's our selection I'm going to right click to accept that and I'm going to pick the base point um, again, I have ortho on, so I'm just going to move my cursor in this direction and type 1.5 on the command line. Okay, and you can see the integrity of this opening at 1.25 um, stayed the same that did, and the walls stretched up. Okay, 1.5 inches. All right, so let's take a look at how that looks in our layout tab. All right, so I'm going to go to my layout one tab, and I'm going to double click inside my viewport. And I'm going to be careful here just to pan. Um, I don't want to roll the mouse wheel. Okay, if I accidentally roll the mouse wheel like that, 
you'll notice that my scale of one to one um, has been ruined. So um, I'm going to put that back on one to one. Okay, because if you zoom, it will it will zoom scale the viewport. Okay, so you want to just once you have it set, you get it in position. Double click outside the viewport so that you're now in paper space. That way, if you roll your mouse, uh, only paper space moves in and out. And now that I'm in paper space, I can edit the title block. Okay, so we can actually just call this the stretch exercise. and we can give it a number okay uh, anyway I hope that helps that's um, stretch with using um, annotative dimensioning and a layout tab